A good paragraph structure is an essential feature of a first class assignment. Structured paragraphs improve flow, ensure that your argument is clear, and allow you to get academic literature into your assignment. In this video, we will be talking all about how you can use the PEECL structure to improve your academic writing. You are probably wondering, what is PEECL? Well, PEECL is an acronym that stands for Point, Evidence, Explain, Criticize and Link. It's a structure that ensures that you use academic comment in the evidence section, you explain why that comment is relevant, and then you add criticality into your work. I'll now go into depth about each section of the structure. The first part of the paragraph structure is your point. Here, you should explicitly state the point of the paragraph. Explain in one or two sentences what the paragraph is going to find. The rest of the paragraph will be used to justify this point. To create flow, you should use the keywords from the introduction and from the essay question, as this links the paragraph to the rest of the essay. After stating your point, you should add evidence to support this point. This evidence is usually from an academic source or data. Use this evidence to justify the point that you have made. After adding evidence in, the next step is explaining how the evidence justifies your point. This part is crucial. It may seem on face value that the evidence speaks for itself. However, you should ensure that you take the time to say quite clearly how that evidence backs up the point that you have made. The next step is where you add critical analysis to your work. At this point, you ask questions of your evidence and can make counter arguments against it. You can back up your evidence with further evidence or you can contrast it with other evidence and lines of thinking. This is a good opportunity to apply theories and principles to your argument. To find out some more information about how you can add critical analysis to your work, check out our video which details some top tips for critical analysis. A link to this video will be in the description of this video. Finally, you should link back your point to the overall question, stating explicitly how this paragraph has answered or impacted the overall essay question. You can use this final sentence to link to the next paragraph. This helps to create flow within your argument. I'm now going to run through an example of using the PEECL structure to answer an everyday question. The question is, what is the weather in Derby today? My essay may have many paragraphs and points, including the weather is warm, the weather is windy, and the weather is dry with each one having its own PEECL structure. Here though, we'll focus on the weather is warm. So, my point is, the weather is warm. The evidence that I'll use to back this up is, the weather is warm because I recorded the temperature to be 20 degrees Celsius today. I then explain it by saying, usually in April, the temperature is below 24 degrees Celsius. The Met Office 2020 recorded that the average temperature was 16 degrees Celsius in April 2020. Therefore, the weather is 4 degrees colder than the average April temperature. Now, I had some criticism. However, the Met Office temperature average includes data from throughout the UK, meaning that the average temperature may be skewed by the other data. Wood 2020 page 5, however, argues that this skew would only have the capacity to impact the results by around 1 to 2 degrees, therefore meaning that the weather, even with the potential inaccuracy, would be warm, as the variance here is 4 degrees. Then I link it back to the question, using the words from the question itself. Therefore, as the temperature is 4 degrees above the average, Regardless of the potential inaccuracies, the weather is warm. PEECL 
is a simple structure that you can use within your work. This structure will improve your flow, make your points clearer, add criticality to your work and will show that you have answered the question. If you found this video useful, make sure to check out our other content. We have another video available that can help you in adding flow into your writing through signposting. We also have a podcast available about each step of com completing your assignment. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.